you know, sometimes it doesn't carry over into the game. Uh, and this is one of those things coaches worry about. Duke as the Texas Tech Red Raiders are now on their Christmas break. And there's another three. This one by, as they call her, Lay Ready. Her name is Alasia Ready. She's the point so far inside in the paint against Texas Southern's six. And that was one of our big keys. Here's Turner with another three, and she is three for three. And uh, always get the rebound if she's not getting 20 rebounds a game, but she keeps it alive. Sydney Goodson driving right at Nia Mitchell. Brewer ends up with the loose ball. Looks like it's going to be a turnover. Here's Goodson who can hit that shot and does. Sydney Goodson now with five on the day. But the passer is very important. The kids don't understand that nowadays. Brewer with the catch, put back, and good. Coach uh, Stallings wanting to reward everyone as uh, Brewer blocks the shot. She leads this team in block shots. The rim to roll down four and the ball to fall. And here's Sanders. No, but Brewer with the rebound and the floater. Sydney trying to get it in. Goodson wide open in front of the bench. And she is money in the bank, isn't she? Good pass. To get here and, and play in this contest. Brewer did a good job there keeping that ball alive. There's Kristen Carr, and that's what she does as she ranged the three in for Texas Tech. Defended by Jerry Sanders there on the baseline. Good, good defense there by her. Now inside, and the shot falls. Points of the 43. Well, that could, you know, that's, to me, that's a good sign there. They've got to be able to play when she is in foul trouble or, or any other reason. But, you know, like right now, she's back on the bench. Opportunity to win. They also need this person, K.K. Turner. Turner misses. Rebound, though, is collected by Brown and then blocked by Brewer. Just going to set it up, try to get something simpler. Goes to Goodson, who has a hot hand, hits it. And that's what you get whenever you kind of just you know, you're patient, take your time, set it up. Four from the field. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Here's Sydney, and she banks it in. Capitalized off the turnover here today. Right, especially with that many turnovers. There's Turner, and that's what she does. She likes to, to be aggressive inside here yes. today. She kind of cooled down. That's a good read by Zuri. Goodson has a hot hand. Yep, yep. got it again by Tex Southern, and they get the turnover, and they get the layup and make it a 51-38 to 38 game, so a 13-point contest. And, and, and that is a good point there because Chris does do a good job of getting in there, getting some boards, goes coast to coast and makes the shot. Up. She had her, her dad was her AAU coach, and she had a really uh, good relationship with him, and he was really hard on her. She said, I grew up thinking and believing as, as Chris Lynn Carr shoots another three right there. It's that shot, and now the ball's intercepted by Turner. Outlet, layup is good. I'll bet you a timeout's coming here in just a second. Yeah. Thankfully, she stayed here in Lubbock and uh, is contributing mightily with another double-double, and there's Chris Lynn Carr with another the little floater and just... Texas Tech University. She's one of two players on this team that have a 4.0. They're real proud of the fact that as a team, Turner hits another three. Herford product. Here is Erica Sidney to Aaron DeGreat off the glass and in. Aaron DeGreat with six points on the day. To help you in Big 12 play, if you can just get her going. Here's Turner with another three. And KK Turner with... I'd like to see her post up on the left side so she can use her strong hand more often. And Texas Tech will win the game right before Christmas, and they'll have some holiday cheer going into the break. Our final 75 to 55. We'll be back to wrap it all up.